Snow mode held higher gears while also braking individual wheels to stabilize the car or distribute engine torque fore and aft or side to side to maintain the driver's intended path on slippery curves. It dutifully kept the Tiguan on course even at higher than recommended speeds, although truly ham-fisted driving triggered stability control to scrub speed with vigor. Selecting the road setting and its sport sub-option enabled us to overcome the Tiguan's inherent understeer with dabs of computer-monitored bumps of power to the rear axle at lower speeds on ice. But forget dreams of snow drifting your Tiguan, stability control can be fully defeated only in the off-road setting, where slower throttle response made it more difficult to trick the four-motion system's brain into sending power to the rear axle. More to the point, no matter what combination was selected, the default slick road reaction at the limit was safe, controllable understeer. For a family crossover, this is entirely appropriate, of greater import is that the various drive modes actually changed the Tiguan's attitude at all. Through it all, we weren't left wanting for more power from the turbocharged 2.0, liter engine. With 177 horsepower, the Euro engine is just a few ponies shy of the version of the same engine that will power American Tiguans. Still, final powertrain impressions especially those of the 8-speed automatic transmission we weren't able to try are forthcoming. We've also been told that we will get a TDI diesel version provided the whole emissions cheating thing has been resolved by then. Even in light of a few question marks, the new Tiguan clearly retains a premium feel despite its lower MSRP. Let's just hope the Americanized version we drive on solid pavement can maintain that impression with its unique component set and extra mass.